Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is my Kineski PP1 chest protector kind of overview, quick look type thing. Um, obviously I can't get this on the ice right now because I don't think anyone can, but I got this right at the beginning of shutdown and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And so we're gonna talk about it. So I figured I'd grab everything I have here um, and my pads just because obviously this is my inspiration is I wanted something to match this Jersey and I kind of went, or I want, I really love that style. So I decided to go all out. This is kind of the final piece of the puzzle. I'm um, still have to do a helmet, but it's going to be slightly different. I'm waiting on my helmet being, to be made to actually do that. Um, so that's going to be way down the line because Protex work takes a long time. Anyways, so this is a look at the Kineski's chest protector. My previous one was a John Brown. Um, it was a Russian spec. It came in at like nine something pounds, not wet. <laughs> Once I wore it, it was like 10 pounds when you took it out, when it was soaked. This is under that, this was 7.4 pounds. So this is a step down in terms of weight. It's obviously heavier than the retail units that I've worn like the 2X Pro. Um, but that's okay to me because I wanted a unit that was protective enough because the 2X Pro frankly wasn't. Getting bruises up here and on the arms is not acceptable in the level of hockey I was playing for it. I wouldn't wear it on my top leagues. This is worn by people in the NHL. I specifically asked for specific features on that NHL players wear. Um, and I asked it to be what they would do, like the same one that they would get. That's why I got the brown. I'm okay. I'm okay with the weight um, because I'm looking for protection. The reason I went here is because I'm just curious if I can find a happy medium between protection and mobility um, to see if I can get some more mobility in my movements and everything. I'm not very fast. And so I want to see if maybe a chest, a lighter chest, or one that does have a bit more arm mobility and stuff like that can change my game at all. And if I can be happy with this, so that's why I went with this. Um, so this, I went to their kind of store. It's not really a store, it's where they make everything, but they kind of have a little thing that you can go into. And there was, um, Braden Holtby's chest protector was there and the goalie for the Sabres, Olofsson. I can't remember who it is. I'm gonna, don't play me. I forget the top of my head. His was there too. And so I tried theirs on and the Holpi one fit me perfectly. Um, so this was basically Holpi's size. I brought my pants in, had it tucked, everything just, it worked really well. Um, so I kind of went with it, that out of base. You can give them your measurements and you can kind of go through it and they'll build it out to you. I know that when I post photos of this on Instagram, people are gonna say it's short, especially compared to the retail units. It's not, I tuck, I had it measured out with my pants being tucked, it's perfect in size. They also said that about my brown. Again, brown, I sent like eight measurements in and they built what they built. It works perfectly for me. Um, so that will kind of be the same thing for this. Also on top of, just to kind of tease it now, there will be a video coming out of this of me testing getting hit with a stick on this compared to my brown um, because I'll mention the spots up here that I, why I want to test that. Um, so there's gonna be a video of that in the future of me just getting beaten with a stick. Um, so you'll probably like that. Anyways, this chest. So I guess I'm gonna go some background of it because I find these pretty interesting. Um, Kineski's came out with this when, or Kineski came out with this when the NHL went to the smaller chest protector rules. Um, so they had smaller floaters, rounded arms, everything kind of was streamlined. All of, most of the companies were severely lacking in actually building something that was good enough and to spec. There was all these stories about goalies getting hurt um, with CCM Bauer. And I think Brian did a decent job. Not totally sure. I wasn't a fan of the optic retail chest, so I don't know what they did with their pro stock ones. Um, but a lot of companies fell behind. Goalies, um, like for example, Braden Holtby wore a Reebok or CCM P1 for the longest time. Um, like Flurry wears a P1 too, I'm pretty sure. Ton of NHL goalies do, Price did for a long time. Basically, the newer version of it was leaving some things exposed and CCM was lacking in getting the development going forward. Um, Kineski filled that gap. They basically built a chest based on what people wanted and they could do a bunch of different arms, stuff like that. This is one of the results of it basically. So I did ask for NHL spec. So this should be pretty close to conforming. If not, um, I can't remember if I asked them if it was or not, but it's slimmed down enough, I don't really care. 
All their arms are spec NHL spec now because they're all rounded. That's kind of how they did their they molded them off of that. But this is like this is what Hellebuck wears. He wears it slightly differently, and I've seen pictures of him and how he wears it. But like this arm flap is specifically what Hellebuck orders. It's extended than the normal one. Um, because I if in case I chicken wing, I want that extra padding there. That was one of my big issues with the Optic One chest, is that I wore it chicken winged and the whole top like back of my arm was exposed and that does get hit when you chicken wing. Um, so I really like how that is there. That's one thing I, I got them to put on there. Um, so that's kind of the background of this and how it kind of came out. You will see familiar, like very familiar pieces with the, P, the CCM Reebok P1. Like you look at his body and it's pretty similar. Let's just be honest. Um, like this part looks identical to it. Um, this is the new evolution of them and this is the Canadian made version you can get retail. The thing about the CCM version is I saw Holtby's chest that he wore the CCM one in uh, when he won the, the Stanley Cup and that was nothing like the retail ones that CCM came out with. I've seen the P1s that CCM came out with and the Holtby one was unbelievably bulkier and like it was impressive. I would wear it obviously and I would not wear the CCM retail ones that I've seen, like the CC, like the 500 line, the first time they came out with the, like that, the AB Pro 500 was like when the E-Flex one came out. They were not good enough. The C, the one the pros got were, was really awesome. Um, so this is basically the level of impress, like me being impressed on how awesome and thick this is and how padded it is. So I'm really happy with that. Obviously I haven't worn on the ice, but you can kind of see how it is and I can feel how it is. Um, so that's kind of the about that. So I guess next we'll kind of just go about what this chest is. Here you can see the, their arm design. Um, you can get different arm designs. Um, or I've seen some on her Instagram. I just went with the stock one. I was a pretty good fan of it. This part isn't really flexible yet. I'm sure this will break in over time. But I had no problems when I put this on moving around. Everything moves really nice. Floaters, segmented floaters. Um, I believe that's the rule now. I guess actually we'll stick in my arms for a bit. So I got it adjustable with Velcro. So the pro pro ones aren't, actually I think they can be, but part, parts of it have to be sewn in. I'll show it on the back. I got it adjustable with Velcro just so I could fine tune it up and down. Um, so you can see that right there. I think this is an extra piece of padding too. I can't remember, um, but, or one of these is double layered or something. I can't remember exactly what it is. So you have these shoulder caps. So these feel like either really hard foam or plastic. I think it's a hard foam. This is the part that really impressed me of this was like just how thick these arms are. Um, so I guess if I undo this. Also, now that I, you can see it, yes, the colors don't match perfect. Um, no, I couldn't get any colors to match perfect with all the gear. Purple and eggplant and like the Anaheim teal are kind of like a dying thing. So if you get it, you're lucky. Obviously, this isn't perfect. It's good enough for me and I think it looks great. So anyways. So this is nice and thick and like really solid. So one way I always check on like chest protectors to see how padded they are is if you take like this part and the top part and if you can squeeze it. So if you can squeeze the actual like round piece itself and squeeze it and flex it, you know, you kind of get a good idea of how much padding it has. This does not, I cannot flex this part and I cannot flex this part. So if I took a retail Vaughn unit, and I'm talking, who was the last one? V8 you, and the SLR, I could bend those, like bend them with my hand just by going like this. I cannot do that at all with this. And I'm talking the Carbon Pro. I'm not talking just like the, the non-carbon one. This is like beefed compared to that. And that's what I'm looking for. Because with my, again, I mentioned this before with my 2X Pro, which again, you could squeeze that. I got bruises up here and the weirdest ones I got bruised from here from a pass guy passed it behind the net, hit my forearm and it bruised. And I was like, how? So I decided to move on. Um, so I'm really impressed with how this is all built up. It's really nice to continue on the arm. We'll flip this over um, to show the backside. Cause I know some people like really like the backside. Okay. So the backside of the arm. So I have to put this back on, but I won't do it now. As you can see, it has all these straps for adjustability. Um, this is obviously, it's like kind of the Hellebuck extended flap. Um, so obviously it's just a pretty simple strap like this. I'm not a fan of this design. I One thing I meant to order on for everything, every strap on here is I didn't want elastic. I wanted 
um, either this material or just like Gen Pro. Um, cause I don't like how elastic stretches out over time. Cause I kind of like things tight and I found when you tighten them, elastic will, will stretch more. I forgot to do that. Honestly, I could stitch it all myself and just replace it anyways. It's not a big deal. And I, I know Kineski's is great with, um, repairing gear. So if I really, really wanted to, I could send this back eventually and get them to replace all that probably no problem whatsoever, but it was something I meant to do. And I just totally forgot about when I ordered. Um, I never talked to him about it or anything like that. So it's nothing on them. It's all on me. The elbow cap is this pretty bulky plastic kind of thing here, molded, um, decent padding on it. It does have, I like can hopefully you can see this. It does have a piece of foam in there for soft and padding. I think the Bauer version, I like the Bauer version better and the new CCM version is better than this, but I mean, they have their retail elbow pads to go off of. This is fine. It's not my favorite design, but it's okay. Um, I guess that, and yeah, you got your adjustment there. You do have your, and this is on both sides. So a little piece of foam blocking for on the underarms. This could be thicker. Um, it is pretty thin, but I'm based on how like these kind of wrap, I'm assuming that will kind of just act as a block and the, the hopefully the force will kind of go to the outside too and it won't be an issue. Um, but that could be thicker. My brown was definitely thicker there. But I mean, again, I didn't ask that to be thicker. It is the way it is. If I did, I'm sure they could have done it. I'm sure I could also just keep it on the inside like this. And that will also just be a little bit of padding down there. And this will kind of close up better too, the more I tighten that. So that's kind of the arm. Again, that huge piece on the side, this is extended because I asked for that because I'm a huge fan of it. Um, so that's kind of it for the arm itself. So I guess we can look at the inside since we're here. Um, there's no removable pillows or anything like that, just a nylon. But as you can see, it's pretty padded. Um, I had, I took a couple stick wax to it. It was couldn't feel a thing, so it's fine. I can't remember if I got this extended or not. I think I did. I always got hit in, I reverse VH too much. If you ever watch my videos, and if you haven't, you should. Um, I reverse VH way too much. I like lean on it all the time. I get hit down back here a lot. I My Coho 700, I got just destroyed on it. So then I made sure my brown, this was beefed up and bigger. Um, so I kind of continued one that continue that here and this seems really good for me so far. Um, so I like how that fits when I wear it, it looks like it covers everything I need. This isn't super thick, but I'm like, it, this is kind of higher up on the arm and this is where like how thick these blocks are is pretty impressive. Um, so I'm pretty sure everything will be good there. And then we have the clips, obviously to just, uh, again, you can do different types of clip, clips. You can do Velcro, you can do mag magnetic ones like on Vaughn SLR pads. Um, you can do double things. I just got a single buckle on the side, goes right in there. It's covered up by this for pat so it doesn't break. And it kind of just sits between these two blocks. Works perfectly for me. I do it up before I do my chest up. And then, um, so yeah, I do it up and then that's kind of it. So the back plate is super adjustable and I kind of already adjusted this a lot to make it pretty tight. So when NHL goalies get these, um, these parts are stitched in place. So like these straps are all stitched in place so they can't move them anywhere. So it sits a certain way in the body. Um, obviously I'm not an NHL goalie and this is not signed off by K Whitmore. So I don't have those done there, but you have this strap to adjust the shoulder floaters in and out. Pretty standard. You see it on the new warriors. You see it on like Ryan's. I think Ryan's has something like that. Um, but again, this to pull the back plate up and down, which will pull the front of the chest up and down as well. If we go to the top of the floaters, there's um, this can be Velcro if you want. I just didn't, I just want it like this, kind of like the NHL spec. You can Velcro this so you can adjust the floaters manually, stuff like that. Again, I didn't want that, so it didn't go that way. Um, so I guess the next part is on this floater. So when I put this on, I was a little bit hesitant on one spot, particularly up here, and that's kind of behind this floater. Um, there's not a ton of, hopefully it's on camera, right? This spot right here doesn't have a ton of padding. It's like right on the top of your shoulder. So it's just this and then that piece. So I was a bit worried about that and that if I puck hit there, I'd be, it could really hurt. And I looked at a couple other ones, um, like the Brian's and my Brown. I was like, okay, I'm a little worried about this. So that's why I put this on and did the like impact test. I found when I was wearing this, this piece never really takes full force ever. It's like it's basically right here. And while it looks like it's kind of on your chest, you do get hit, like I did get hit here. 
and I never really felt anything. Like I could feel it, but it didn't hurt. Um, so it was perfectly fine and I was okay with it. Felt it a little bit more than what my brown was. Um, but again, I'm okay with it now. We'll see when I wear it. If I did this again, maybe I would get this piece beefed up. Kind of like maybe a piece of foam like that. Again, I'm looking for protection over mobility. That would probably hinder some mobility. Um, but right now I think it should be okay. And obviously I need to do some testing on this, but it is what it is. Um, I think that's kind of the most part about this. Your tie-in straps. Uh, this is kind of how the middle plate works. I've seen it on both out and in. Um, I'm gonna wear it in, just how I do it. And yeah, so these I would have got nylon if I remembered and not elastic, but it's all right. Okay, so these also came with these loops, which is for suspenders. So pretty sure I go like this, put this under here, put it right there, and then your suspenders go underneath. Um, so then you have a suspender loop right there. Works for me. Uh, I asked for that specifically because I have little ties on my brown so my suspenders can go through. I have these shot cord suspenders. Um, so I'm, I like that. So it kind of holds everything in place. Works perfectly for me. Again, it comes off, um, but pretty simple. Good design, does this thing. Anyways, that's it. Um, so what next? So the next part, I guess, is the neck guard. So I have a built-in neck guard on my brown. And again, I'm protection, protection, protection. Um, so I put this on and it does leave a pretty big gap. I am happy with how padded this is and I'm really happy with how thick these foams are. They're pretty substantial. Like I'm super happy with that all over. Um, but I wanted that neck guard as well. I asked them if they would build one in. I saw this on their website. Um, and it was kind of like, Oh, coming soon type thing. So I asked them, can you guys do a neck guard? Can you build it in? Well, first I said, can you build it in? And it was, well, we can build you one. So I have a neck guard. Um, I love my brown. To be honest, I like how my brown unit works more than with this one because I don't like having to wear a neck guard as well. But I mean, it's a, a small thing and it's just a different design. I can see why this is decent because if you want to go with another route that's not this, it's easy enough to do. Um, but here's mine. I like it. I think this is a gel of some sort. It doesn't feel like a normal foam. Um, maybe it's foam. I don't know. Ask them. Ask them for pricing. Don't ask me for pricing on any of this. The price on this is on their website. I think you have to message them about this, but don't ask me because it changes. Like pricing can change and I paid retail for this, but pricing can change and I don't want to be the person that says this is how much it was and someone else to be up. So don't ask me. Um, anyways, this is the neck guard. It fits wonderfully when I put it on in here. It covers exactly what I want. My neck is covered. Um, I'm really happy about it. It works well. The only thing is this is way too big for how tight I want it because I want it tight. So I am going to basically just sew this like that and then sew it in place and then it'll be shorter. Simple, simple change. Again, something you can ask them to do. I never did because I can do it myself and I will do it myself, but um, doesn't mean I'm unhappy with what it is. So I am going to have, and that's about it for this video because this is long and it's a long talking about this. I will have another video up in the future about of me getting hit with sticks with this. And then I'll do another one comparing this one to my brown. Um, and I'll put them on and I'll kind of show the differences. Because this is a big purchasing decision for me. And like it was expensive. The brown was expensive too. But I'm always looking to kind of see if I can get something that might work a little bit better for me. And this seem is definitely up there on what I want to try. I wouldn't mind trying a pass out, but the way my review went with them. Um, I'm not going to drop the money on that chest because I saw this, I could put this on a person. I can't put the pass out on person, put this on a person. was really impressed with it. So I went with this. Um, so yeah, I'll have some more content with this, with it on check out Instagram. I'll have photos up there too. Uh, but I will have that me getting hit with this video in the future where I talk about some things too. Um, I go over this kind of shoulder piece, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you enjoy my retro ducks um, set. If we grab this down here too. Um, it was a while in the making and the helmet's still kind of being worked on. But my retro ducks set with the Kineski chest, I'm very impressed with this chest from just getting it. Obviously, I can't wear it yet. Um, but I, I really hope to get on the ice eventually sometime this year with all this together. And uh, that would be kind of enjoyable. 
Um, so thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you liked it. Um, like the video if you wouldn't mind. Comment if you have any questions. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube and then hit that bell icon so you get notified of when I put out new content. Um, remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Links are in the description. And then finally, um, if you do buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, please reach out to manufacturer let them know. Gets me on their radar um, so I can get gear and do make content like this because um, I can't afford to buy everyone's chest protectors or pads and review them or comment on them. And I don't even care if I review them or use them. If I could just get them to do to talk about the features and stuff like that, I'd be happy to do that. So anyways, thank you very much for watching and take it easy.